15. So for main engine start, T minus 10, 9, Ten eight, for main seven, engine start. 6, 5, to start, now I see it. Engines up and burning. Eight, two, at a hundred. One, zero, and lift off. The final lift off is the tower. Shoulders of the space uh, rocket. Right America the will continue. There's the roll. LBLH. Roger roll, Atlantic. Roger roll, Atlantic. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantic. Modeling in there. Uh, I agree. Eight point nine six. Time for the start of a sentimental journey. In the she future. is going up. Digitals. 24 seconds into the flight, the program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half million pounds of orbit. Four and a half million pounds of water and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 15,000 coming up in the cloud deck. That's a throttling. The flight, three liquid fuel main engines. Clouds at 20,000. Three at 72. Reducing stress on the shuttle as well as transonic for the final time. One minute, four seconds into the flight. The PDT is trending to stop. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final Thank time. Thank you. It's at zero. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles an hour. To Staging is next. I agree. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Stand by. DC less than 50. Close your shoes to open your visor. Team Eco. Agreed. Stop starting. Stop this started. 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 Atlantis picking on its afterburners for one minute and 23 seconds for the final phase of power flight. Is Atlantis, two engine tower. Two engine tower. That call from the Atlantis, it was a single plane day for the event. That contingency, your in plane, plus 230 on the ETAL page. No comm VIs when you're ready to copy. Okay, in plane, plus 230, go ahead. Press the APO, 10 decimal 8, press the Nico, 14 decimal 7. Press the Nico, 14 decimal 7. Nico, 14 decimal 7. Copy. Good read, Docket. Copy. Good read, Docket. Copy. Good read, Docket. Copy. 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 Because of the slightly late launch time, Capcom Barry Wilmore reading the PDT look good there, Sandy. Yeah, looks good. Zero. Zero. Yep. Yeah, 15 PSI power, looks great. Liquid fuel main engines draining a half a ton of fuel There's per second. There's a UHF. I know. Fuel time. Three and a half minutes into the flight. 1479 over here. Alright, thanks. Let's dump. We should be gone soon. It's done. You're all over. That's not what he's good. 83 on a side. Three good main engines. Three good auxiliary power units. That's a good review. Good fuel cells for Atlantis. Yeah. It's nice up here. At 300,000 feet. <laughs> Atlantis. Locking. Atlantis. Return. Negative return. Negative return. That call from Capcom Barry Wilmore indicating that we're too high in altitude, too far downrange to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. However, Atlantis's three engines performing perfectly. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis currently traveling 5,500 miles an hour, 62 miles in altitude, almost 200 miles downrange. Four minutes of powered flight remaining. Atlantis speeding straight as an hour to the its date with the International Space Station Sunday morning. I don't 
remember Liftoff being quite that violent. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Coming up on the five minute mark. Atlantis now traveling 6,500 miles an hour, 66 miles in altitude, 250 miles downrange. Here's Preston ATO very soon. Atlantis, Preston ATO. Preston ATO. That call indicating we can make minimal orbital targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to function normally. Atlantis will begin its slow roll to a heads-up position shortly. Five and a half minutes into the flight, Atlantis traveling 7,700 miles an hour, 315 miles downrange. Atlantis, single engine, Atlantis, Ops 3. Single engine, Ops 3. Single engine, Ops 3. There's a roll. And the guidance officer here in Mission Control confirms that the computers are commanding the main engines to swivel. Atlantis, single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. We've rolled to a heads up position now, providing better communications to the tracking and data relay satellite system as Atlantis heads uphill. Wow. Six minutes, yeah. 20 seconds into the flight. 2.1. Atlantis press to Miko. Atlantis press to Miko. Nominal shutdown. Press to Miko. That call indicates that we can make our normal orbital cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to function. Your shutdown plan is nominal. Go to press X. Go to pitch. We got it. Nominal shutdown plan. Go for the press X. Go for the pitch. All right, Sandy, all ready? That yeah. call indicating uh, that G will be in good shape uh, for the uh, orientation of Atlantis for external tank for photography following main engine cutoff. Now seven minutes into the flight. How many switches do you think you'd be throwing now? Zero. <laughs> Coming up on throttling. One minute, 20 seconds till main engine cutoff. Atlantis traveling 12,000 miles an hour. The main engines will uh, soon be throttling down once Bridges. again to limit the stress on the shuttle Fresh and throttling. four crew members to that of three times the effect of gravity. Atlantis currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles a second. One minute of powered flight remaining for Atlantis. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Approaching the eight minute mark into the flight. Atlantis now traveling more than 15,000 miles an hour. Eight minutes, 15 Open seconds three, into three the flight, standing by from main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Miko! That was a Miko. That was a Miko. Booster officer confirms main Miko engine cutoff. Miko. I agree. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent next. as the shuttle slips into the final chapter Get of a firing. storied 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. Oh, the tank. That's the tank. Oh, Wait for 104. There's 104. I see an Atlantis HA greater. The tank. One data. Commander Chris there we Ferguson go. will be well, maneuvering sir. Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts through. Atlantis, we just see a nominal Miko. Only one is not required. Your preliminary only take 37 minutes. Seven minutes. Thanks. Home next. I agree. All right, everybody, we're out of the book. Sandy, you're on strap. I'm working on it. Trust on. I agree. It's a lot easier at three Gs. Welcome mm -hmm. to space, everyone. Yeah. Good to be back. Yeah, I'm gonna.
I can't go off comma like talk to you, do I? Do you hear me? Oh, go ahead, I'll yell at you. I'm gonna go off comma. Now, ready for rest? Ready for rest. Here's rest.